Hi there. My name is Zach, and I'm one of the co-founders of Clay. Clay is the most powerful way to organize and deepen your relationships, personal and professional, over time. Today, we'll go through getting started and some quick tips and tricks to make the most of your new account. The first step to getting set up in Clay is connecting accounts. We support a number of different accounts designed to help you have a comprehensive view of your network without having to do any manual data entry. We support email, calendar, Twitter, LinkedIn, iMessage, Facebook, and more. Typically, most people will connect an email, calendar, or LinkedIn account to start. You can always add new accounts later in settings. What Clay will do then is import all of those people, deduplicate them across integrations where possible, and then enrich them from 10 plus public data sources to give you a comprehensive view of who you know and how you know them. So here you can see that Clay has brought in 11,000 people over the past 18 years, and almost 900,000 different moments or interactions. We then run all of those people through a pretty complex scoring algorithm to understand how you know them and how well you know them. What we're trying to do is give you high signal without having to do any manual work on your part. And then we let you do a bunch of things with those people. So I'm gonna actually get started by showing you the home view. The home view is your hub, your operating system for important updates about your relationships. Like if someone changes their bio or changes jobs or is mentioned in the news, you'll see that all in home. You can do a number of things from a home update. You can reach out to them in one click by pressing contact. You can star them and add them to a group, take a note, set a reconnect reminder, which we'll talk about in a second, or just click through on their profile to learn more about them. You can customize the types of updates you receive in home in settings. So you can turn off things like birthdays or change when you receive certain reminders. Home is meant to be actionable reasons to reach back out that allow you to have real and authentic outreach about things that matter in people's lives. For example, you can see that Jeff had a high engagement tweet. It's Jack's birthday today. And Mike just started a newsletter that I might want to sign up for. Now, Mike came in via my Twitter integration. But if I want to learn more about Mike, I can click through to his profile. And if I go to the About tab, you'll see all of the information that Clay brought in for me automatically. So you'll see his bio, things like his social links, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, et cetera recent updates and social activity, and then things like his education and work history. Clay brought all of that in for me automatically without me having to enter any of that information. And that's one of the first and most powerful parts of Clay. You get your entire network cleaned up and enriched without having to do any more manual work. Now, the reason we do that is to make both the information that changes frequently, things like people's jobs and locations and things like that, we keep that up to date for you and make it available for search you can focus on the things that only you know about. So your notes after a meeting with, with someone or things that you want to remember about, for example, their personal preferences or kids' names or things like that. And you can take those in notes. Notes support really complex formatting. So you can do things like bullets. You can say introduced via Peter. And we will create a link between those two cards so that you remember how you met and who introduced you. You can do something like loves art and education so that you can always remember personal preferences. And then you can do something like follow up in three weeks. And you'll see that Clay parses out that date and then will send me a reminder on that day. So just by taking notes in Clay, we're going to make a lot of this sort of people workflows that you commonly have much easier and then also make that very easy so you can constantly remember people over time. The next thing that Clay makes incredibly easy is helping you remember people. One of Clay's goals is to expand Dunbar's number, the 150 people that you can remember at any given time. We believe that you can remember far in advance of that, but with subtle hints that remind you about people over the course of weeks, months, and years. By default, Clay will remind you about three people each day that it thinks that you should be thinking about. That feature is called Reconnect, and you'll get those reminders in home. So you'll see here, I got a few Reconnect reminders today about people that I haven't thought about in a while. Now, for any of those people, you can tweak the individual Reconnect settings at an individual level or a group level. So. I can go into Scott, for example, and if I press H or I click on this reconnect icon, you'll get a prompt that says, how often do you want to think about Scott? You can change it to something much more specific, like weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly, or you can turn it off completely. So you'll never be reminded about Scott, but Scott will remain in your Clay group of contacts. Like I said, you can do that on an individual level, or you can make particular groups. So what I might do is make a group called quarterly and add everybody that I want to think about quarterly to that group. And as I meet new people, I can just add them to that group and keep them organized without having to set individual reconnect cadences on each person. You can add people to groups easily with L or by clicking on their profile and going to add to group. 
Reconnect is an incredibly powerful feature because it allows you to be reminded about people passively without having to set individual cadences for each person. Clay will automatically deduce how well you know a person and when the last time you talked to them was so that we can understand who to recommend when. And finally, there's search. Clay search is the most powerful way to remember the people that you've interacted with or met over the history of your career. You can search by really anything. You'll see a, a list of personalized suggestions here based off of your particular data set. But you can see that there, I can search by anything, things like location. Location is a very popular search term, particularly for people who travel a lot. Who are the people that I know in the city? We will keep that up to date for you over time so you don't have to remember when people move around. And you can search for, for example, San Francisco. This list will be sorted by relevance. So who are the people that I'm closest to for this particular search term? And I can combine all these search terms together. So I can, for example, say something like, who are the people in New York City that I've met recently? And this will give me a custom list based off of my particular data set. As you can see, there's a number of different search terms that I can look for. I can go for things, you know, people that I've met before versus people that I've just emailed. I can do things like, you know, who has experience with Microsoft Office? And it'll pull up that list. There's a lot of different ways you can use search to find people that you're looking for. You can search for hashtags. If you use hashtags in your notes, I can do things like who are people that have artificial intelligence anywhere in their profile. And then I can limit that to actually just show me people who have that in their bio and we'll limit that down. So Clay is an incredibly powerful way to search your entire network and is often the first place that our members go to search for someone that they've met, as opposed to something like their email or LinkedIn, where you may not find the person or you may not remember when you met them. And that concludes our quick overview of Clay. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to email us at care at clay.earth with any questions, comments, or concerns. And we'd also love if you take a look at our Clay library, which has a number of different FAQ pages and how-to guides that might be useful as you get started. We also have a number of other videos on our YouTube channel that show you how to use Clay and how to implement it into your workflow. Thanks and have a great day.